words about the review. I'm glad oh, you enjoyed it. Hello, how are you? I loved your review. Oh, thank, well, thank you, you so much. much. I loved your film. Oh, well, that's <laughs> good you know, uh, it's adoring fans uh, each other. It's beautifully yeah, shot, beautifully written, and it's something which I think stays with you at the end of the film. As the credits go, I found that when I was at the screening that nobody moved. That is true. You know, there's a kind of um, intensity about the film. People just want to sit and take in the experience of what, they, what they've just witnessed. And it's not the kind of film you just go up, get up during the credits, start chatting, go and have you know, a drink straight away. You need to sit there and take it in. So it's, I, I see that as a compliment to the film, actually. And it is your first feature film. You have come from a background in documentaries. How difficult was it to make that transition? Well, luckily it had the bridge of television drama, which was useful. So I've worked a lot with actors. Of course, the advantage of television is you do a lot of television in the space of eight, nine years, you know. I, I sort of I'd done about a dozen TV dramas, um, but film is different. I mean, it's sort of its standards have to be absolutely perfect because it's going to be around for a long time and it's going to be blown up to massive screen. So that was different. I felt the way I had to work with the actors was, was different, and I also had to make sure that we had a cinematic scale to the photography. And Rob Hardy, our DOP, was absolutely fantastic at that. It's it 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 really it's such a lovely film. And the one thing that really stands out for me is there's very little violence in it at all. It just tells a very simplistic, beautiful story. Yeah. You know what? I think there's enough violence out there, and that's fine. And there's a lot of World War I films where you see you know, very, very gruesome killing on the front. This film is not about that. This film is about her. And it's about courage and dealing with with the conflict the and <coughs> saving people's lives. It's not about violence, it's about saving. Himself. It's about There's being of help kind of, uh, and recovering and from loss. Him. And that's yeah, what she really teaches us. She has such a particular independent voice. Serious. It's worth listening to. Um, and you, so I promise you, you will not come away from this film and feel weaker. You'll feel stronger as a result of having seen it. I mean, young people should take their mums. Mums should take their daughters. Girls should take their boyfriends. Everybody gets something from this film. Um, and how has it been yeah, received by Vera's family? You looks a bit like uh, you know, that, I think it's the biggest relief <laughs> to me is that uh, Vera's daughter is Baroness Shirley Williams, who's a very famous politician in this country. A lot of um, older think, people you will know, know her name. She was quite character. cautious about the idea of a film. She worried about the kind of Hollywoodization of that story. It was a great relief to me to know that she absolutely loves the film. She's seen it several times. She's here tonight. She wants to see it yet again. And it's a huge compliment because actually there's a lot of Vera Britton in Shirley Williams. And if Shirley Williams likes it, I can feel confident that Vera Britton would have loved this film that celebrates her life. It's a beautiful celebration of her life. Congratulations. It's lovely. Happy New Year to you. You too. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.